Alright guys, welcome back to Doctor Who The Lonely Assassins. So in the last episode, we tried to investigate the disappearance of Larry Nightingale and his wife. And apparently they went into this house called Wester Drumlins. But we still don't know what's inside that house. And I found two articles right at the end of this, not this, uh, last episode. But I can only summarize one of them, and the other one, if I'm honest, that was confusing. It has to, something to do with a sculpture or whatever. Maybe we can ask Osgood about that. For now, let's just continue. Okay, this browser here, the Drumlin's disappearance. So basically, the house once belonged to the Satchwells, a married couple of discreet wealth who lived there happily for many decades. Their tenancy ended when they mysteriously vanished in the late 60s. That's the main key of this article. And same thing happened to Larry Nightingale and Natasha. They went into the house and they just went missing without a trace. So I don't know what's going on. Like, we're about to find out though. And this article called Illusions of Security, we're just going to ask Osgood about that. Okay, so I want to go back to Osgood, but I want to open this gallery though. Ooh, till death do us part, and there's one downloaded file. But yeah, I cannot open this. So what is this? Oh, this is Natasha and Larry. Okay. Ooh, glitchy. Let's scan this. Whoa. What the hell? Let's do this again. Okay, corrupted photo, a corrupted fragment found in a photo album of Lawrence and Natasha. I wonder what's going on with this photo though. Hmm. This one um uh, has a weird effect. Why your photo? <laughs> okay, this is the happiness between. Oh, what is this? Oh. Someone special, Lawrence with his special someone. That's Natasha, surely. Okay, let's get out of here. Man, this background is scary, if I'm honest. Okay, let's talk to Osgood. Um, let's upload... Oh my god, so many clues, man. Um, I don't know. Uh, Sacred Circle? Sacred Circle, this is a conspiracy theory message board. Okay used to peruse it myself for some fascinating insights. I never pegged Lawrence to be the type. What's this with this Jack fella experiencing glitches with his phone? Hmm. Have you seen anything like it? Not at all. This is the first I've heard of something infecting your phone like that. And it's not a simple technical bug, looks like it affected him psychologically too. That's horrifying. Jack's last word about Larry, he was right about Western Drumlins? Mm. Could the same thing have happened to Lawrence? My gut tells me no, he doesn't have his phone. You do. Ah, but not to worry, I know what I'm doing. I have major precautions in place to keep us both safe. Oh. Harks. Shark. One. Seven. Four. Seven. Shark. One. Seven. Four. Seven. Shark. Shark. One. one seven, seven. Four. four seven. seven. Sharks 1747. 
Hmm. That was a call. Yeah. The signal is odd. Who is it? Um. Just someone saying a bunch of random numbers. Hmm, very odd. It's hard for me to guess without hearing it myself, but it seemed like a hijacked phone signal. Um, could it be the data corruption? It's possible. But it doesn't quite match the corruption. Check the call history and see if the number plays back. I'll look into it when I can later. Okay, let's upload the, the other clues now. Um, I don't know what to share. Mm, Lawrence concern. Okay, Lawrence tells salary, salary, <laughs> Sally his worries over Natasha's disappearance. Okay, Wester Drumlins. I don't know about you, but the repeated mention of that place is raising some alarms for me. Uh, we're missing some history here. This can't be a coincidence. It's raised more than alarms for Lawrence here. Um, yeah, more than alarms for Lawrence here. Right, Sally too, from what I gather. Except I don't think their reactions are based on second-hand accounts. There was too much pain in his voice. That house seemed like... Sally and Lawrence have a history with it. Hmm. Yes, um, Drumlin's disappearances, okay. These urban legends websites always seem widely implausible, but I've stumbled across my fair share of leads on them before. I suppose when you actually discover something, you, something truly bizarre or improbable, you tend to share it with people who might believe you. far fetch not really if I'm honest um, go missing like that 12 people wait you investigate urban legends how do 12 people go missing like that yeah that's that's strange honestly you'd be surprised at how many people go missing without anyone noticing but it seems our Lawrence notices these sort of things at any rate, this will help with establishing Lawrence's thought process. So he's not the conventional sort. That could make things difficult. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what this article is about. A uh, Lovra's blue box? I don't understand this. Evidence of the doctor. I knew it. Large blue telephone booth with police markings. That must that must be the TARDIS. What? But why visit a Van Gogh exhibit when the doctor can meet him in the flesh? Uh, what? PhDs are overrated, come on. I suppose this isn't a medical doctor. Sorry, doctor who? <laughs> uh, no pun intended, okay? Uh, I don't know. Sorry, doctor who? It's complicated, but long story short, that's my person of interest. I like to keep tabs on him. Or her. Them. It's hard to keep track. That's the problem with time-traveling aliens, I suppose. They don't always show up in the right order, and sometimes not always in the same body. But that old phone box is always a dead giveaway. Mm. Yeah, what's so special about an old phone box? That phone box is actually a TARDIS. You could call it a spaceship, but it can travel through time as well. Its appearance is just a disguise or cloaking field, I think. TARDIS is like a spaceship. Oh. So, okay, time traveling alien doctor, why not? How do you even know all this? This is the strangest thing I've ever heard. Um, how do you even know all this? Well, the doctor was a colleague of sort. 
they've been great help to us at the unit. Anyway, this this discovery proves my hunch. Lawrence was indeed looking for the doctor. I also suspect that the doctor had something to do with you getting a hold of Lawrence's phone. I thought Lawrence or Larry was looking for his missing wife. And he was looking for the doctor. Oh my god, this is... Oh my god. The direction, man. I don't know. Um, hang on. The doctor led me to this phone. Maybe Lawrence found the doctor. Um, maybe Lawrence found the doctor. Doubt it. Near impossible for any regular bloke to simply stumble across the doctor, but I have a niggling feeling that he might have stumbled into something else. We must focus on finding Lawrence. But if you but if you come across any more references to the TARDIS or the Doctor, do send them to me. That might give me some leads on the Doctor's current location. Now, okay, let's check this out again. A corrupted fragment found in an email update of Natasha's disappearance. All right. Aha. Progress. Uh, what kind of progress? <laughs> the items are more like fragments, really. The two pieces you scan connect to each other. But what does it mean for us? Hard to say, my friend. We still don't know how it fits in with the other data on the phone, but my guess is that all the fragments connect like these two. We'll get a better picture when we've got all the pieces. So keep calm and carry on scanning. By the way, looks like the corruption is blocking a direct link. It might be worth checking out that email again to see where it leads. Actually, we found this website called Find Me where um, you're looking for missing person. This is like a missing person's website corrupted photo okay um yeah hmm good hmm or bad hmm ha you tell me you see it's puzzling we did guess correctly all the fragments do seem to fit together so it looks like we are getting somewhere So why the hmm? That's three pieces now. And none of them link to the other data on the phone. They should, but they don't. It's almost like they they were never supposed to be on Lawrence's phone. Hmm. What do you think we should do next? Well, we almost have all the fragments. Go get the rest. I'll be waiting. Okay, someone special. Happily married man then, our Lawrence. I'm almost certain that this is the Nat Mo mentioned in his message. Yep. Uh, they both could be two different people. He did make it seem like they were close. Um, yep. Precisely, together forever, he said. If these photos aren't the definition of that, then I don't know what is. But just so we're sure, could you try finding a name for her? I don't want our wires crossed. Uh, let's get out of here. Um, I don't know what these numbers mean, like shark 1747. Um, hold on. Actually, I want to check this one out. Okay, objectives. Um. Look through the phone for more clues and also get a photo of Lawrence and Natasha. We did that. Who did Lawrence report as missing on find.me? There you go. That's the name of the website. The missing person revealed their age in a chat with Lawrence. Lawrence saw the missing person at his house. A photo of the missing person would indicate their eye color. Hmm. 
who is Osgood, you should talk to her and find out. I mean, we already have. Um, okay. Um, their age. Oh yeah, 45, right? I still remember that from the last episode. Missing person at his house. Um, 71 Timber Street. There you go. I remember that. A photo of the missing person would indicate their eye color. Okay, let's... Open this. Uh, is it brown? Oh, wait, wait. Um, Natasha's eye color is brown. There you go. Aha! Ooh, user JMRLO42. I'm afraid it's not good news. I asked her around and you were pretty much the last person to see, to see Natasha. No signs of forced entry or anyone coming over the fence into your home. And from what you tell me, pretty much all personal effects are still in the house. So she clearly... clearly uh, tongue twister, hello. So she clearly didn't go anywhere on her own. Checked in with a couple of pals at Scotland Yard, too. Had them run every database I could think of. Not a sniff. Not in the whole of London. I hate to sound corny, but it's like she just vanished into thin air. Sorry, Lawrence. She was your wife, and I know this must be hard to hear, but this is the deadest of dead ends I've ever seen in my 16 years of doing this job. I think this investigation is over. No! Oh, Natasha is missing. A public appeal for any information about Natasha's disappearance. Okay. Let's go back to Osgood. Okay, let's upload this. Must have been awful to know that neither a private investigator nor the police could help. Yeah, I can't imagine how Lawrence must feel. Especially when the circumstances are as curious as this. The report is rather conclusive. I was afraid of this. Quite a few of my ex-colleagues disappeared while on assignment. Losing people never gets easier. And to lose your phone, I imagine that's much harder lose your spouse there you go sorry not phone bloody hell i've had a closer look at what you've sent me so far and i'm seeing some worry interferences in some of the data i think lawrence and natasha may be in serious trouble uh what kind of trouble that i can't tell from the data at this point but we'll have to find more and fast we need to redouble our efforts at finding Lawrence and Natasha. Mm. What about the doctor? When people are in trouble, helping them is our priority. It's what the doctor would do. Anyway, I'm certain we'll find more clues about the doctor along the way. So what's the plan? Ideally, UNIT would be the best agency to handle this. These types of odd cases are our specialty after all. Hmm. What sort of agency is this exactly? Yeah, this is highly classified information. But you've come this far, you deserve to know. The Unified Intelligence Task Force. Ah, so that's what UNIT is about. Okay, UNIT for short. Our job is to keep Earth safe. Officially, we don't exist anymore. And officially, some of us kept going in secret to solve this time fracture debacle right now. Thanks for trusting me. Wow, um, should I be worried about this time fracture? Um, not yet. I'm sure we'll get a handle on it, eventually. 
If we don't, well, the less you know about the possible end of the universe in the near future, the better. But back to the matter in hand, it's down to us to solve this. Western drumlins? You're right. Lawrence's messages to Sally do imply that there's something off about that place. And it's connected to Natasha's disappearance somehow. I think so. Lawrence's voice message, yeah. Also implies them from Western Drumlins. Good spot. I noticed that. What are your thoughts about this ominous them? Uh, maybe he thought someone kidnapped Natasha. True. Possibly, but none of this feels like a kidnapping case. No ransom demand, no reason to target Natasha. At any rate, Lauren specifically mentioned Western Drumlins. That makes it our next lead. I've managed to recover some new data. Let's see what you can find out about the place. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to investigate Lawrence's house personally, with both him and his wife disappearing. Let's just hope I'm not next one to go missing. Okay, restoring mails, restoring chats, restoring gallery. Ooh, more clues. I'm still getting chills from this. Down. Okay, let's open the email. Ooh, your latest complaint. What's this? Um, dear Mr. Nightingale, I hope this email finds you well. This is from LOE at BHC support government. Oh, government website. I hope this email. I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to provide you an update regarding your previous complaint of the Wester Drumlins estate. On February 3rd, 2021, an agent was dispatched to the property to investigate the concerns outlined in your correspondence. After a thorough in inspection, they found the building up to the up to code. Thus, we have to we have no plans to proceed with further action at this time. We understand that you've submitted a total of three reports concerning this estate since its acqui acquisition. Our team has investigated each of these claims, but they continue to find no evidence or of wrongdoing. Unfortunately, we cannot entertain any further complaints regarding Western Drumlins without absolute evidence. If you have a dispute with the property owner, we suggest you contact them directly or seek the aid of a meditation service, medi sorry, mediation service to resolve the issue. Meditation, what the hell? Please do not hesitate to contact us if you have any other concerns. Regards, Louis Han, Council Support Representative, Britannia Housing Council. Well, what's this? Chandra. Oh, Rani. Hey, Rani. Hope all's well with you. Sally and I just want to thank you again for your help with our Western Dramlins article. Getting it featured on some high-profile sites as well as a few of the urban legend sites really was going above and beyond the call of duty. It's something we both appreciate. There's no way we'd have managed to get it published so quickly and seen so widely without your help and advice. I doubt anyone else would have given us a hand. I can't say I blame them, to be honest. The things I've seen, the stuff I know about, well, most people wouldn't believe a word of it. The fact you listened and understood meant the world to me. Clyde was right. You're a special person. By the way, how is he? Not seen him for ages. Tell him I say hi and send him my congratulations. I see his homeless charity just opened its third shelter. Oh, meant to say, I saw that some sites refused to publish articles anonymously and for those you gave Sally and me the pseudonym of Cal Nye Wallers. Very nice, I see what you did there. Thanks again, Lawrence. 
P.S. I saw the piece of you wrote in the Metropolitan Magazine about devils of the sea helping waylaid mariners. Absolute, f absolutely fascinating. What can I get from here? Oh, Carl Nye Wallers, the truth about the Drumlin's article author. So it's actually Lawrence. Oh, no worries. It was my pleasure to help. Given what you and Sally experience, I think it's best we don't let anyone near Western Drumlins ever again. Let's hope your article keeps any potential buyers well away. And I'm glad you like this pseudonym. Do let me know if Carl Nye Wallers has any more stories of the bazaar. You've got a quite a few editors interested in your style. Cheers, Rani. Oh. Rani Chandra, maybe that's the name. Let's go back to um, Osgood. Oh no, gallery. Let's open this. Oh, it's the drumlins. Oh, what the hell? Okay, it's cursed. <laughs> this folder is cursed. Well, let's get out of here. Oh, whoa, what's going on, man? Whoa! What was that? Damn! Okay, let's just move on. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> oh well. Oscar Huang. What's this? Hello, Mr. Nightingale. Um, I'm at the shop right now, but it's still locked. Tried calling Mrs. Nightingale, but she's not picking up. Mr. Nightingale, are we supposed to be closed today? Uh, we've got some customers out here with me too. Oscar, sorry, tell everyone the shop's closed until further notice. Do let the others know too, thanks. Is everything okay? Um, but Sorry to bother you again, but do I still have a job? Is this because I accidentally melted some of the merchandise in the rare DVD display? Are you both going bankrupt? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I've just been thinking about myself. I should have pushed for more sales. Oscar, calm down, it's none of those things. Nat's missing. I'm so sorry, Mr. Nightingale, please let me know how I can help anything. Okay, 23rd of February. Hi Oscar, going to take you up on that offer. Could you come over and pick up the keys to the shop, please? I might be going on a trip. Of course, I'm on my way. You're going to look for Mr. Nightingale? Something like that. And I'm leaving you in charge while I'm gone. I won't let you down, sir. That's pretty much it. Hey, okay, Mr. Flynn? Uh, what is this? Hold on. Oh, this is a recovered message. Mr. Nightingale, what do you want? I try to be civil about this, and against my advice, you continue to be a thorn in my side. Mr. Flynn, I have no idea what you're on about. If you have any issues with the renovations, you'll have to bring it up with the council. Save it. I just spent two hours cutting up all the red tape you tried to throw in my direction. You can't stop me from doing what I wish with my property. You don't understand. Why don't we talk about this? This is not a discussion. Just let this go and walk away. My previous email still stands. I said three sugars, you absolute imbe... Mr. Nightingale, my dear chap, how did it get to this? I will tell you how it got to this, Nightingale. Your insane crusade to try to stop me carrying out renovations in my cellar. Now, most people know me as an easy-going man who... For God's sake, make a fresh cup and get it right this time, you glistening simpleton. An easy-going man who prefers to find common ground. But in this case, the only grounds in question belong to me. Wester Drumlins is mine to do with as I wish, and I intend to open up its cellars, attempt to coerce or scare me again, and I shall contact both my lawyers and the police. Actually, 
I rather think the boys in blue would be fascinated by your tales of killer statues, might even get you committed. And if you think you could remain silent when they pull you in for questioning, the chief constable is an old golfing friend of mine. He'd make you sing, Nightingale. He'd make you sing. I've so enjoyed our little chat. Toodle pip. Mr. Flynn looks suspicious. You're sus. Okay. Clue found. Mr. Flynn retaliation. An angry voice message. Mr. Flynn has had enough of Lawrence's interference. No, 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 no. Let's go back here, um, Sally Sparrow. Another recovered chat. Oh, so that's it then. Articles live into the unknown isn't exactly the BBC, is it? It's better this way. Too much attention and people might take it as a challenge. I trust Rani. She knows what she's doing. No one's stepping foot in that house again. Then we can finally put this behind us? I think so. Honestly, it's a relief. Oh, I feel at least 10 stone lighter. Uh, pun not intended. I don't understand your joke anyway. Relax, I think we've earned the right to joke about it now. <sighs> I guess you're right. But still, I know it was always difficult for you. I know you can finally make some peace with this, Sally. Maybe it never felt right before. Think of it this way. Cathy would be livid if she knew you've spent all this time groveling. Oh, definitely guilty of that. I just need to be sure that it wouldn't happen again to anyone. Speaking of Kathy, is that what you did to move on? I mean, well, yeah, my sister can get quite scary, but I also think that the situation was impossible to solve all at once. I kind of took it slow and made sure I could breathe in between, you know? Larry, that's too easy. No, it's brave. None of this is easy. I think that's the first time you called me that. What brave? I definitely have. Not in those exact words, maybe. For what it's worth, I'm glad it was you. I mean, all things considered. Not that I wanted it to happen. Um, me too, Larry. Thanks for sticking with me through it. Even after we... Well, I'm happy we're friends. What do you think you will do now it's over? Good question. It's one I can't answer just yet, but you know what? I think I can find some comfort in that. Um, well. Let's open this again. Um, corrupted fragment and send it to Osgood. Keep an eye out for more mentions of the TARDIS. Optional. Scan and send any sightings of the TARDIS to Osgood. Okay. Um, scan and send Rani's email to Osgood. Scan Flynn's conversation Lauren, with Lawrence and send it to Osgood. Okay. Now I want to check this phone call history. Lawrence, Petronella, Osgood. Let's call Harks again. Shark, one, seven, four, seven. Shark, one, seven, I don't know, one, four, seven, seven, four, seven. Shark, one, seven, four, seven. I don't know what to do with this. Like, shark, one, seven, four, seven. Nope, nothing. <laughs> Okay, um, let's go back to browser and what can we find here? Oh, Sparrow and Nightingale. What? Oh, antiquated books and rare DVDs. Singing stories of the past, the present, and the future. Okay. Have any questions? You can reach us at one nine one six one eight dot one four seven two zero um 
two missing numbers here. Maybe it's not important. All right. Actually, I want to visit um, the sacred circle again. Um, hold on. Sacred circle. There you go. Okay, back to main. Let's read about these statues in Hammond Square. Okay, basically what the title says, first time poster, long time lurker. I took a holiday to London last spring and took a few touristy pictures at Hammond Square. My mom did a few cheesy poses with the cheer up statues, the ones near the water fountain. I was looking through the pictures a few days ago and uh, the statues look different. As in, there seem to be more than I remembered and some are facing the wrong way. It sounds crazy, but they were definitely not facing the camera when we took those, pic those photos. I know it seems insignificant, but it's weird, right? Anyone else experienced something similar? Hmm, that's odd to say the least. Maybe your phone camera malfunction. Maybe your memory is just failing you. I wouldn't put it past Hammond Square. Uh, and I know what I saw. Can't believe I didn't think of that. I'll check another incident. It happened a couple of years ago in the summer. Some drunk hecklers were ganging up on the street performer. Poor fella. He was a living statue, so he wasn't responsible to their taunts. Duh. But then they got rough, started shoving him. One of them took it too far and pushed him to the ground. His body, how to, s how do I say this? It exploded when it hit the pavement, shattered to bits like marble. It was a mess of blood, flesh, and stone. Ew, disgusting. <laughs> Chaos ensued. The attackers fled, and people were freaking out at how his body came apart like that. He was dead by the time the medics arrived. I mean, how do you survive an ordeal like that? Yeah, fair enough. When they pick him up, they said he was unusually heavy and his skin was hard like he was cast in stone but his insides were still fleshy human. The news reported that the man had frozen solid overnight and that was that but I don't believe it for a second. It's impossible, I know there's something more there hiding. That's crazy, how come it didn't make international headlines? Wouldn't have visited had I known something like that happened. Because it's an urban legend, don't listen to Mrs. Elven, Elvetine, yeah, whatever, that's, that's the username. Dear, there's nothing to be scared of in jolly old England, that's one heck urban legend. Appear when my camera's on, but they're like AR filters, maybe there's something more in here? No, nothing. Weird phone corruption, we read that. Um, okay, Tales from the War. Metropolitan Archive. Oh, what's this? Hold on, maybe I should read this first. Um, this is certainly a fascinating discussion. I'm compelled to continue the thread and share a tale of my own. Now, I'm not a history buff, and I surely wasn't alive during World War II, but what I experienced that day feels like an echo, I suppose, from the Blitz. Was waiting for the last train home, tucked myself in a seat with a book. Headphones were full blast, it was normal until I realized that I'd been too long before a train arrived. When I looked up, I didn't re recognize the platform I was on. It was old. Had a different name too, but what's troubling was that it was completely filled with people, lined up and seated by the walls, the floors, even on the tracks. They were dressed in clothes like you see in period films. No one paid me any mind until I started heading for the exit. 
people were screaming at me to stay inside that I'd endanger everyone by leaving. A siren started ringing as I fought through them, drowning out their screams until I felt rumbling and saw a bright light. That was it. Apparently I'd been I'd seemed hypnotized and was staring at the sky, blocking the underground entrance the whole time. I don't know, what do you lot make of it? It sounds like you went back in time. This doesn't be it last to ask. I think I'm grand I'm gr my grandmother's reincarnated World War II boyfriend story, lol. Uh, okay. Oh, Larry is here. Could I ask what station this was? I wonder if this was an old one that didn't make it. It was Wallen Green. There isn't any station with that name. Oh, what if they renamed the station? Could have renovated it since too. Tried to look up anything similar during the blitz on the MET archives, but I found something else that's equally bizarre. Check it. Okay, record number NCTF 24948. Okay, let's download this. Okay, I'll save it for later. Um, let's go home. Not found. About us. Nothing. Members. Nothing. Um, top. Subscribe. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, someone hanging off a barrage balloon? Metal? Funny how the film industry hasn't found this to capitalize off yet. I wonder what that is. Ooh, Davies Street attack raises questions. Um, is there something I can... Single isolated incident of destruction, um, an area by Bond Street Station, mystery woman holds on for dear life, snipping her first coupon, reasons for, reasons for rationing, work, 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 um, I don't know what we can get from this. Baby Street, okay, clue found. The London Chronicle. An old newspaper clipping detailing a series of odd events. Oh. Okay. Oh. Two corrupted files in downloads folder. But I cannot open this. Hmm. Let's go back to Osgood. Um, let's upload... Yeah, call nine wallers. Hang on. Yes, I thought so. There was an article about Western Drumlins on the website you scanned earlier. Wait a second, look. Carl Nyweller's is an anagram. Can you see what of? Anagram? What? Is an anagram. I don't see it. Um, no. I can't believe I didn't spot it immediately. Is anagram for Lawrence and Sally? Lawrence Sally. Oh! Lawrence Sally! Okay, 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 I get it. Lawrence and Sally must have spread stories about Wester Drumlins to keep people away from it. The big question is why? Exactly. Uh, I remember Lawrence telling Sally someone new owns it now. Maybe there's more information in the article. Um, yeah. It's Mr. Flint. Interesting. I suspect Lawrence would have tried to warn the new owner. Oh, shoot. Bloody hell. Rotech. Watcher 93227. Watcher 
What is this again? Honestly? My god, that scared me. You just got another weird call, didn't you? What was like what was this one like? Um yeah, just static and numbers, just as freaky as the last one. I'm starting to see a pattern. No, I'm not. Yeah, just static as n and numbers. Did you notice any patterns? Oh, that pattern. Okay, four numbers both times. Both messages started with a word. Same voice, different phone numbers. Um, both messages started with a word. First one was shark, and now it's watchers. So there's some consistency to them, but it doesn't tell us much, which makes it another mystery to add to our stockpile. Just a second. I just pulled up some information from the call data. It looks like both calls were from old landline numbers, very old numbers. Probably 70 or 80 years old, in fact. Um, can you trace the source? Theoretically, I could. But I'd rather pay full attention to our main investigation. The phone's corruption might be causing these calls. Best we just wait and see if it happens again. We, are, we have more pressing issues right now. Uh, Mr. Flynn's retaliation. How very diplomatic, Mr. Flint. So he's the current owner of Western Drumlins. Yes. That's why Lawrence was locking horns with him. Not to mention the eerie stories he was spreading about the place. Um, everything leads us to that place. Probably, yeah. Uh, yes, we should find out as much as possible about Western Drumlins. Well, that's frustrating. I had hoped we would find out more. Um, what do you mean? I mean, we did learn some things. But I don't know how useful they are to us at this point. We know Lawrence and Silly wanted to keep people away from Western Jumblins. That's true. Um, but the problem is what? Or maybe Osgood can answer that. But the problem is... We've hit a dead end. I don't know how much more we can do on our own with just the phone data to go on. Can you recover more files? Did you find anything at Lauren's house? Um, can you recover more files? I don't think so. There's not enough data to reconstruct the rest. Searching Lawrence's place didn't turn up much either. He clearly hasn't been home in a while. His car was nearby though, and the keys to it were in his living room. All the stuff he ordered for that party is still in the boot. Oh. Still in the boot. Okay. Anything else? He didn't drive anywhere. Um. Anything else? Well, there was something odd about the master bedroom. An outline of dust on the wall in front of the dresser, like something was taken off the wall. I'm guessing it was the dressing table mirror. Uh, maybe it broke. You sure it was a mirror? Maybe it broke. Seems unlikely. Even if they clean up, there should be some small fragments on the carpet floor. Yeah, true, I guess. Fair enough. I checked, but there aren't any. It seems like everything is just leading to more questions right now. What should we do? We'll have to answer them then. Um, what should we do? Whatever is going on, Western Drumlitz is the center of it. Lauren seemed to believe that anyway. I managed to contact a colleague of mine, Ayesha. She's going to have a look around Western Drumlins. Oh my god, I hope she's okay. Um, yeah, Flynn lives there though. If he's still renovating, he probably hasn't moved in yet. But I'll warn Ayesha to look out for him just in case. And you trust Ayesha with this? 
absolutely 100%. Aisha and I have been on, on a lot of unit adventures together. I trust her to have my back and I do the same for her. Funny story actually. Uh involving cyborg shark and bob sled her radio expertise came in handy too that's normal for you then well normal is a relative term in a strange universe anyway i'll drop ayesha a message now meanwhile could you look through the phone again to see if we've missed anything Okay, well... Um... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Mr. Flynn! Video call! Mr. Nightingale, Lawrence, Larry. I was devastated to hear about your wife, Natalie, I believe her name is, or was. But it does rather prove my point, that you should end your fixation with my property, Wester Drumlins. I've been a patient man, call. Larry. Throughout all your scaremongering, and let's be frank, your threats. Uh, hello? But I've instructed my lawyers, Derbyshire and Mills, to seek a restraining order against you. Your obsession with my property must cease forthwith. I cannot close it. That's just something you have to face. Incidentally, my uh, contractors have reported seeing a figure on the grounds of WD on several occasions. I think we both know it's you. Naughty, naughty. Oh my god, what happened to your face? So I've upgraded the property security, and you would be ill-advised to go on another one of your snooping expeditions. Call it a day, Mr. Nightingale. It is over. I don't want you within a stone's throw of Wester Drumlins. Oh my god. That was strange. <sighs> what the hell? What happened to Mr. Flynn's face? I couldn't hang up. Good news, bad news. Good news, I think we've we have a chance at recovering more data. Bad news, we have to be very, very quick about it. Uh about the call I just got. Sorry, we'll have to discuss that later. Well, we have to move fast to recover the data. Some of the items you scanned earlier look corrupted. They contain random numbers and pieces of text. Do you remember? Um, actually forgot which one. Um, not really. Why? <laughs> I have short memory guys, sorry. Well, sorry about this, but you might have to look for these items. The data in those items is shifting and changing, which is very strange. But that means I might be able to reconstruct more information from them. I need you to hunt down these, those, inver those remaining corrupted items and scan them now. Will those items give us more leads? I can't say with any certainty, but it's a possibility we need to explore. We have to move lightning fast. I don't know how long the items will remain in the state. Try to find, scan any corrupted file. Okay. Now, hold on. Mystery woman cling on for dear life. There's something very strange about that story. Do you see what? You might have to give me a pointer. That was... Too many informations. <laughs> the report makes it clear that the woman was dressed in clothing from our era. I'm guessing this is another mess relating to the time fracture. Oh, oh, wait. 
Maybe I need to open that file again. Okay. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, what's the time fracture again? Oh, the usual, a little problem that could trigger the end of the world as we know it. Don't worry, we have top people working on it right now. Top people. I'll forward this information to my colleagues. They all know what to do, I hope. Meanwhile, we need to focus our on our efforts on finding Lawrence. Oh my god. Into the unknown. Oh, I haven't checked this home website. Number station still on air. Aha! Want your very own star? Um, show me. Maybe not interested. Corrupted website. A corrupted fragment found in a found in a website article on mysterious number stations. Okay, that's another piece of the puzzle. Alabama's blue box. What's so interesting about this? Um, is there anything I can find? Oh, there's actually a clue. Okay, a report on sightings of a strange blue box in Alabama in 1955. Ah, the connection. The Drumlin's disappearances. Okay, we read that. That's pretty much it. You know what? Maybe we should read this. Um, I want to know more about this. I just don't want to skip it. Some of the most interesting puzzles in history are some of the smallest. One of those is the mystery of the Montgomery Blue Box, an enigma that has stumped local historians for decades. In December 1955, an in Congress blue painted telephone box appeared in an alleyway, alleyway in Montgomery, Alabama. Nobody knew where it came from, but reports suggest it was not there the previous day. Uh, okay, written records show that inquiries from the local populace were met with confusion by county authorities. They had no record of its installation. Officials were sent to inspect the box, but by the time they arrived, it had vanished as suddenly as it appeared. The only visual evidence we have of its existence and the only clue to its origins is a single photograph of the box taken by a local reporter. Um, oh, maybe this one? Maybe that's the blue box? Okay. Um, hold on. I want to open the other article. Uh... What's it called again? Um, okay. Illusions of security. This article, I believe, mentioned a blue box. There it is. That's the blue box. Aha. And uh, there's also something about blue box in in other article or other website, I, but I forgot, man. Wait, maybe it's in the uh, news article? No, no. Wait. Okay, nope. Let's go. Oh, wait. I just noticed that the background has changed. Yep, that's Larry and Natasha. Okay. So let's open this again. Where were we? Um, historians have identified it as a British police box. They were kiosks or call boxes once used in the UK. They enabled, they enabled police and members of the public to contact nearby police stations in the event of an emergency. But the strangest thing 
Experts generally agree that the box in question probably originated from Great Britain in the early 1960s. This raises more questions than it solves. What was a British phone box doing in Alabama? Where did it come from and where did it go? How did a phone box from the 1960s appear in a photograph from 1955? Some investigators have claimed that the blue box was not a police box and was instead some kind of prop constructed by hoaxers. Proponents of this counter theory have pointed out that the windows are wrong. Update. Since originally running this story, we've been contacted by several readers who have heard similar legend of the blue box. We have spot we have had reports of wooden phone kiosk being spotted in the Punjab in 1947, Tibet in 1935, and most bizarrely allegations of two blue boxes spotted in Presipers, I don't know what this place is, in 1914. We'll be bringing you more updates soon. Oh. Okay. Let's share this first. The number station. This is the final piece. Good job. Hmm, so they definitely all link up together. Uh, what does that mean? That they are all from the same source, for one. Especially since they're not connected to the rest of the phone, but I can't get my algorithms to piece them together. Oh, bother. Mm, what's wrong? Hello? Looks like nothing's happening. You might have to assemble them on Lawrence's phone. But how? I mean, no problem, but how do I do that? Go back to the Western Drumlin's album in the gallery. That album appears to be the source of these data shifts. Piece together the fragments there and I'll monitor the situation from here. Um, I'm no computer scientist. Yeah, I mean, let's be optimistic, you know. I can do that. I'm on it. Great. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Just tap and hold the pieces to move them around. If they... If the pieces fit, they'll step together. Just keep doing that till you complete the image. Good luck. Boy, oh boy. No, 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 not this. Okay, that's the drumlins. Oh. Match the pieces together. Oh boy. Aha! Mm. This one? Here? Hold on. Aha! Okay. Um. Okay. Maybe I should move it up here and this one here. There it is. Oh, what the hell is that? I saw some kind of a creature. Okay, this is Western Drumlins. Um. The angel, a creepy statue in an equally creepy house. Oh god. Oh my god. What? What was that? Oh no. What? No, 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 no. What? No. Uh, what's happening?
It's what caused the anomalies I detected. Do you see? That wasn't the day that wasn't data we just put together. It's a distinct entity that's alive. Simulacrum? Some kind of Yes, remember, Jack's post from the forums. Okay, that's not... <laughs> okay. The so-called virus that was affecting the, uh, affecting his phone. Okay, so that's what it is. You know what it is, don't you? If only I realized it sooner. It's a weeping angel. Oh, this is not good. Really not good. And what's that exactly? Nasty predatory creatures. They turn to stone when you look at them. Units encountered them before, though so this digital form it's unprecedented. What is it doing? It's moving through the phone, corrupting data. Oh no, it's trying to escape. Um, where to? I think it's trying to get into the phone networks. If it gets out, the damage it inflicts could be immeasurable. How do we stop it? I've got an idea. What? This creature came from the corrupted data fragments we put together. If we can delete those fragments, it might delete the entity. Um, show me how. Okay, I've enabled a delete function on my bug. If there's a corrupted fragment on the screen, the scan button will turn into a delete button when you see it. Use it to delete the fragments. You'll know what I mean when you see it. Do it now, we're running out of time. It's trying to take over the phone completely. Hurry. Maybe we should open this website first. Um, oh god. Uh, into the unknown. Like a mouth to flame. What? What's this? Cubespare.web Do you have an influx of space cube? Click the cube to find out more. I'm a liar and what I say is false. Don't believe the well, don't believe my words at the beginning because that was actually true. So am I really a liar? Uh, no. What's this? A test of fate. Feeling lost. Um I'm a believer. That's just is it? Uh, okay, so I'm really a liar. What is this website? Am I really a liar? No. I have my own path. Test of faith. Oh. What the hell? Okay, let's delete this. No, 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 no. Proceed, whatever. Okay. Got one. Hey. Are you okay? Um. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Sure. Okay. Phew. Good. The entity is manipulating the phone. It's going to try everything it can to stop you from deleting the fragment, but you must destroy it. Um, how am I supposed to be that? We might have an advantage. Weeping angels can only move when they're not being watched. Looking at its behaviors he behavior here, the rule seems still seems to apply, so as long as you keep it in tight, it can't it can attack. Uh, 
Okay, can you help me from your end? Not as much as I'd like. I'll do my best to keep you safe. Remember, no matter how hard it tries to stop you, you must get to that delete button. Oh. This one, yeah. I think corrupt the chat okay let's just open this um, Natasha Sally Sparrow oh my god I don't know I, for I forgot the source of the glitch okay let's let's open all's good again um, Corrupted website, corrupted photo. No, no, not this. Um, corrupted ch chat. There you go. Um, text thread with mo. Okay. Um, there it is. Ooh. No, you cannot stop me, dude. Years. Oh God! Okay, got it. Last one. Okay, the email. Natasha's email update. Okay. Uh, let's. No, 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 not this. Mail. There you go. This one. Stop doing that. Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. No, not this. Not this. Not this. Not this. No. Not this. Not this, not this. Oh, oh, there it is. Ooh. I think it's gone. Oh, uh oh, that's the weeping angels. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that's terrifying. I got goosebumps. I got chills. Damn. Wow. Hello, are you there? Is everything okay on your end? Um, that was way too close, I guess. Agreed. Whew, I got tears, guys. Sorry about that. If I'd known connecting the fragments would unleash that creature, I'd have come up with a different plan. Looks like we're safe now, but I've... But I have a feeling there's much, there's more danger ahead, much more. Interesting, the data distortions on the phone have been erased, eradicated, sorry. That entity must have been causing them. The creature managed to corrupt and destroy more data on the phone too. At least we prevented its transformation from digital demon to real world threat. Oh my god, we did our best. What's next? That was intense. Ayesha's just arrived at Western Drumlins. 
She's setting up surveillance cameras to monitor the place, and I've detected some new files on Lawrence's phone. Oh, Natasha's chat. Mr. Flynn's chat. Restoring mails. Okay. Bloody hell, this is terrifying. Oh. Wow. Okay, so... I'm gonna continue this gameplay in the next episode. This episode is fantastic. Whew, just like playing the old Simulacra, you know? I mean, that's what Kagan Games is good at, obviously. And uh, yeah, this whole story of Doctor Who really fascinates me even more, you know? Even though I've never seen the TV series, but I'm really into it. Well... Oh my god, I have no other words other than I really hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on the bell so you won't miss another content. Follow me on my socials, Instagram, Twitter, you know the drills guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!